What's up everybody, Sir LT Giles here, and this is going to be my review for Season 7, Episode 4, The Spoils of the War. Spoils of War. Um, oh yeah, if you've not seen this episode, spoilers all the way around, spoilers, come back and watch this when you've already seen the episode. Um, now, I just want to say that I was pissed off about this episode being leaked. That really pissed me off, and... You know, I just don't get why people can't wait and be patient. I know some people, they just can't wait. They can't help themselves. I know, like me, with watching leaked photos and leaked, you know, whatever. But I, I just, I like the experience of watching this show on Sundays. You know, it's like every Sunday. And we're only going to get one more season after this. So I just love that experience. You know, that's why I could wait. You know, um, but anyways, highlight of this episode for me. Was Arya owning Brienne the Criminal? Dude, that was so awesome. Making Brienne the Criminal look like a uh, like she couldn't fight at all. And oh, I thought that was hilarious. And it's funny because was Arya clowning her by telling her you defeated the Hound? You know, was Arya being funny? I don't know. What do you guys think? Was Arya being funny by saying that? Um. It's funny, too, because before that, when we see the reunion, or we see, um, we see Bran and all them, and Sansa and Arya walking together, you see Bran and Podrick in, like, northern furs and stuff. It's hilarious, you know? Um, this was a very short episode. It was, it's not even 7 o'clock, and this episode's over. It's, like, 6.50, Man, why is this episode that short? Like, I feel like it should be, you know, every episode should be as long as possible, but whatever. Um, Field of Fire was epic, was fucking epic. It makes me think, like, the potential for if they were to do a Dance of a Dragon spinoff. I mean, a prequel series. It just, it was fucking epic. This is what I'm talking about. Like, that right there was, like, things I think they could win an Emmy for. Just the production value, the the images just how good it looked you saw fucking Tyrion and Jamie on the battlefield and man <laughs> um just all, all 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 out fucking awesome that scene um that whole scene Bronn saving Jamie at the end that's you know man Drogon got hit man I who knows is Drogon gonna be a fine um he's gonna have to recuperate you know, and did they get the spoils of war? Did they get the gold from them? Who knows? We'll find out next episode. I haven't watched the previews or nothing yet. Um, you know, it's funny is when John told Daenerys, "Let's go see the the um, the obsidian." The, you know, the cave with the obsidian in it. And it's funny because like um, she smiles and she's like, "It's all right, man. She's got it. She's got the giddy eyes for John." It's funny how she's like, "I'll help you, but if you bend the knee." Um, she needs to bend the knee to John. Plain and simple. She needs to bend the knee to John. Um, Littlefinger, you're on due time, buddy. I forgot to mention that. The whole thing with fucking Littlefinger telling, or him telling Littlefinger chaos is a letter. Yeah. I guess it's, they want to per put it right. Maybe episode five or four. No, I'm just, maybe episode five or six, Littlefinger's going to get it. But, um. I've I gotta give this episode a nine, man. Just just on the Arya thing and just on the production value in this this field of fire battle. I mean, I'm excited to see what comes the rest of the season and what comes next season. Just yeah, I I'm I'm impressed by that. Um, search Sir LC Giles, um, like, subscribe, rate, come follow us at the Hype Swatch. We're about to go live in a few minutes, and um, follow me on Twitter. I'll follow you back. And I'll see you guys next week for the next episode. Sir LT out.